guys, Eric here with the Hollow Herald. Today we have a really exciting video for you guys. We're going to be testing Snapchat AR versus HoloLens AR. And before you start jumping on me on how this isn't a fair comparison, and I'm not a big fan of those uh, $10 knife versus $2,000 knife. You know, those aren't really fair comparisons. This is just more showcasing the different types of AR that we're gonna see in the future. Um, on your phone, you're gonna see a lot of AR, like Snapchat AR, uh, using similar technologies, using similar experiences. And soon here, we're gonna be seeing a lot more headset devices, like HoloLens AR. And this is just gonna kind of show you the two experiences. Real quick, before we start the comparison, I'm gonna be using AR for everything. We know there's MR or R, RL, or there's so many different terminologies right now. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to be using AR as just a wraparound for putting holograms in your space or whatever you want to use it, just for general purposes. Let's get into it. For testing, what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a hologram. This one's a, we'll grab a tiger. He's pretty good. And I'm going to place him on this table. I think this is probably the best way to um, test the differences between the two. So let's go ahead and put it right there. All right, let's adjust him. I'm gonna get him a little bit perfect. Let's get him right down against it, there he is. Done. All right, so we placed a, um, a tiger there, and you can see he, how well he stays there. As we walk around, he should stay completely anchored there. Um, let's put something underneath him to give it some context, actually. All right, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna slide a piece of paper under him. All right, so you can see that he stays basically, um, not just basically, he stays exactly as still as that piece of paper, which is really, which is really powerful technology to be able to track something in the motion. And you have to think about all the uh, algorithm and sensors that are going into what, what's happening right now. Um, whether I come down here, I see him, you can see he's barely floating a little bit above the table, not noticeable when you're above him. Or whether I walk around here, whether I walk fast, or whether I come slow. Now what's really intriguing is let's see how far away we can get from him. And he'll still stay exactly in that spot. I want to back up into the wall too far. You can see I'm probably a good, how far would you say that is awesome from the table? 20, 20, 25 feet away from him, and he's staying right there. And I can actually select it from there. And yeah, so that just shows you the capabilities of the tracking for the HoloLens. Um, now I guess we can touch a little bit on the look of the hologram. Let me make sure my brightness and everything's all the way up. Um, you, he is quite opaque, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you can see through him quite well. I think probably one of the reasons is he's the exact same color as the table below him. So let's grab a different hologram, the one that's a different color. This is always a fan favorite. The head. Alright, there you go. So this is, this is the uh, dinosaur head. And you can see it's a little bit of a different color. So it actually is quite harder to see through. Now, one of the major, major differences between this is, is this is actually 3D. So it appears like it's actually popping out at me. And as I get closer, let's go ahead and bring it closer, I actually can get inside and peer inside of him. He's not that detailed on the inside. There's much more detailed ones. We can see his teeth, we can see his teeth right there. Um, as we get closer, we dip inside of him. <clears throat> now, that's probably going to be one of the biggest differences is when on the phone using Snapchat AR, it's going to be a 2D image laid over it, theoretically. Um, so it feels a little bit, and that's probably one of the reasons it seems opaque in the viewer. It's probably not going to look very opaque in the recording, but yeah, that's a great contrast. All right, one last little quick note um, that is just kind of to show the awesomeness of the HoloLens, one of the coolest one of the features that blows away people the most that we actually don't showcase every day. Every day. So I'm gonna take just a bunch of holograms and I'm gonna put them all around my space. We're gonna put them right there on the keyboard. We're gonna map them on like physical locations so we can try to make it easier. We're gonna take a cat. Let's put the cat right on the bicycle. And the other bicycle. We're gonna put the cat right on Austin's desk. Perfect. We're gonna leave that hologram box there. Um, we're going to take a skull and we're going to put the skull on my desk. I had to download it really quickly. Oh, my desk is filthy. It's okay. 
Okay, so, so we put some holograms in various locations around the room. Um, now something I would like to showcase with the HoloLens. Now this is not going to translate to video really well because the HoloLens only records with one eye, the right eye, so you don't get the 3D perspective. I'm going to wave my hand in front of this and he stays completely there. I'm going to wave my hands through him, he stays there. It's really intriguing. Uh, if I moved the table slightly, I'm not going to, um, and I rescanned, he would jump over to where he needed to be. It's really exciting. Okay, so you can see all of the holograms around there. Now this is what's mind blowing. Let's take a little walk, shall we? Let's go outside, walk around. I've never been in here. Check in the break room. We'll do a little scan in right here. Scanned in really quickly. Oh man, I left something in the I left something in the office. Let's go check it out. I can look through the oh looks look what's right where we left it. Very close. I think I'm looking through a window. The kit. Everything has moved to the left by like six inches. All right, let's go in there, go in there. All right, we come back. He's, eek, there we go, and he's exactly where we left him. Took him a second, took the Hollands a second to register we were back in the room. But look, exactly on the paper. Let's go see. Exactly on the keyboard and exactly on the table. Exactly on the left side of Austin's space. Exactly on my desk. This is what's really exciting about the potential for the HoloLens and what really blows our mind and makes us extremely excited. So let's go ahead and we'll move over to Snapchat and we'll test that out. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so here we are, we've opened up Snapchat. Um, let's go ahead and just open up a picture of Austin real quickly. Yep, that's the main man behind the camera right there. So, um, Snapchat AR is actually really cool and people don't realize that they've been using AR for so long with the face features. The facial mapping on Snapchat is actually augmented reality when you do face swap or when you add the dog to your face. I'm not going to do that because I'll look terrible, but they've actually introduced a new feature on some of the newer phones where they have AR. So here's a dragon. Let's see, Let's see if we can kind of big right now. Let's see if we can make them smaller. Let's put him right here on that piece of paper. Okay, so there you go. I set him down there on that piece of paper. Oop, it's a little sketchy. So you can see, I'm using a Galaxy S8 Plus right now. So it has a large screen. It's really kind of struggling right now. It normally does better than this. Let's try the hot dog. All right, there we go. We're finally there. We have the dancing hot dog on the piece of paper. Um, it took me a second to get it correctly. I'm using a Galaxy S8 Plus right now, so it's got a huge screen. It's the most up-to-date phone you can get right now. Um, and it looks beautiful, to be honest. I mean, you can't see. There's no transparency to it, which is incredible. I think it'll appear the same way on the HoloLens. That's because it's not 3D necessarily. So I put it on the paper, and I'm going to walk around the table right now and you see look he did a great job staying right there I'm very impressed with the spatial tracking we can get up nice and close and he starts freaking out a little bit there I mean look how close we are to him though very impressive for a phone and this is kind of what AR kits going to be like I think AR kits gonna be a more advanced version of this which is really exciting. So let's go ahead, we're gonna stress test it a little bit. Now normally this isn't what you would use this app for. It's more of an introduction to augmented reality. It's more just for fun, let's say. But let's go ahead, we're gonna stress test it. We're gonna start backing away from the table, probably about six feet away from the table. He's staying perfectly right there. Okay, he starts moving over a little bit, not staying there very well. And he's off the paper. But yeah, it's pretty good, you know, for an app and for just camera and software tracking. We're about the same distance we were away from it, and he's off the table. We're probably 15 feet away from it. Um, you can see Austin over there for comparison. Now let's go ahead and get closer and see if he stays in that exact same spot. This will be really impressive if he does. Oh, he's within inches of where he was before. That's really impressive. This is really exciting for the future. I mean, the AR kit and other things like this, um, this uses a different type of tracking than HoloLens. So now let's go ahead and we're going to ruin it. Now this is the big fatal flaw of Snapchat, uh, or of phone-based AR. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to wave it in front of him. 
and I pushed him away. So he's now gone. Actually, that's kind of cool. No. So you can see he gets stuck on my hand, which is not necessarily what you want. It's kind of fun to play with. But, um, and if we look away and we look back, he's gone, he's completely moved. Whereas if we looked away and we came back with the hollow lens, it would be exactly there. So, I mean, he's on the floor now, but it looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's really fun. But like we just said, we'll film Austin for half a second. We'll go back down and he's completely moved to a different part of the piece of the carpet. So it's more of an illusion than it is real spatial mapping. Oh, oh, see, he's freaking out if we try to get too close. There is limitations, but what do you expect for a free app? It's really incredible, to be honest. I'm really impressed. Um, so I guess we can go ahead and, he shot off into space. I guess we can go over and jump to a conclusion at this point. Well, that was some interesting results, actually. Uh, I was really impressed with Snapchat AR. Uh, the seamlessness, how quick it was, how free it is, how cheap it is, how easy and how accessible it is. Um, people don't realize how much they use augmented reality in their day-to-day -day basis. I think, I hope this showcases how much you actually use AR in your day-to-day. -day. Snapchat AR really excels in the facial mapping and face swapping and adding things to your face. It's seamless. Uh, you can watch the tracking on how well, how well it maps your face, and when you move your head fast, how everything stays there. It's really interesting. Um, HoloLens really excels on a mass scale. This makes sense. This is a device built for AR. This isn't a device built for um, sending pictures back and forth. This is, AR isn't just a add-on to it. It's designed for it. So in conclusion, I don't think it's really fair to compare these two devices, but I hope you got to see the differences between the two and the style. Um, we're gonna be, re we're really looking at AR kit right now. It's really exciting. So we're gonna be doing some videos on AR kit in the future and showcasing that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have friends that use Snapchat, or if you have friends that use HoloLens, or people that are interested in augmented reality, share this video. Um, it's a really exciting community and it's really it's really moving forward right now. So, yes, see you guys in the next one.